Hello guys, Lynn here and welcome back to another Lords of the Fallen weapons and armor guide video. In this one I'm going over how to get all the weapons and armors from the Pilgrim's Perch Descent, the starting location of which is the Vestige of Blind Agatha. I'm going to walk you through the map collecting all of the weapons and armors, spells and other gear like rings and pendants and this will be quite a long video. Also before you begin make sure you have a Vestige Seed as you will probably need one. So to start activate Umbral and head into where the water was and up the stairs. You can kill tons of enemies here and farm them if you want for decent vigour, but head all the way to the end at the top and you will find a full set of antique hallowed sentinel armour. From here head out and drop down to where there are loads of tough enemies, like the spiked head guys and you can ignore them and head right across the plank of wood here to find the spike pentinent head cage. This actually has the highest physical damage resistance of any helmet in game, so if you're playing with heavy armour then this is a great one to get early. From here use your umbral ability to pull and reach the other area where you will get the relic of perpetuation. This is a pendant which will increase your maximum health. From here head along and avoid the enemies and head down the big ladder. If you don't already have it active, activate Umbriel and head down the ladder to a new area that will form on the ground. Defeat the enemies here to reveal the Bowl of Revelations, and this is an item that you can use to unlock all the boss weapons and armors, but I have a separate video on that. Head up the ladder and walk along the areas and drop down. Here there will be multiple spiky headed guys and you can defeat them. And once you've done that you can activate Umbral again if it's not already active. And you must find three tumors in order to unlock the door. The third one is underneath and you can pick up the Book of Sin while you are here. This is a quest item so make sure you do not miss it. And then you can head back up and reveal the new path and inside you can use a Vestige Seed to make a save point before heading into this new area.
You can drop down here and get the key to release the prisoner. This is Geraldine and she will appear in Sanctuary now and you can go to her to upgrade your weapons. Next to the cell, you can enter Umbriel and you can pick up the Defiance Ring that will increase all status effect resistances. Lastly, continue to the next area, you will come across a merchant called Demaros and she will sell a few items including a unique spell. Head to the next room to fight the gentle Gavaris, Mistress of Hounds. It's a fairly easy fight, but I've seen other people say it wasn't. I guess it just depends on your build. But either way, once you defeat her, you will get the Sin Piercer Sleeve and Sin Piercer Sword. So guys, those are all of the weapons and armors you can get in Pilgrim's Perch Descent. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Lords of the Fallen guides, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.